I was wondering if you can take anything from preseason stats. Uh, like, for example, over the last two games, you guys are having uh, opponents shoot a lot of their shots, either at the rim or from three. Is that a point of concern? Can you take anything from numbers in the preseason? Well, I, we haven't done a great job keeping the ball out of the paint. That I'm, that I'm really focused on and aware of. Um, not as concerned with the three-point attempts, but uh, definitely concerned with the ball getting into the paint. Hey, Stan, Scott Kushner uh, from NOLA.com. I was just curious if you had an update on Wynn Gabriel at this point. No, he hasn't done anything still. And uh, just one more thing is uh, when you, uh, I think Zion's position has kind of been bandied about a little bit. Uh, what kind of, of look has he given at the five? Has, has that come up much? Has that been something that you guys have seen often? And what do you sort of like about that look? Well, I worked for a guy once in, uh, in college coaching um, when kids were really concerned about position. And I remember uh, going recruiting with him once, uh, a guy named Nick McCarchuk. And the kid said, do you see me as a three or a four? And, and Nick said, son, there's two positions, on the court and on the bench. Which one would you like to play? And I look at Zion pretty much the same way. Like, I, I want him on the court. Uh, whether he plays the four, the five, the one, the two, the three, the seven, the eight, I don't really care. We just need him on the court and we'll be able to, uh, to work around that based on who else is on the court with him. Hey coach, this is Ollie with the bird rights. I apologize in advance of this question, but since we have no access to practices, I'm curious since the last preseason game, have you noticed either any player uh, make any kind of improvements or something that stood out about them, or maybe the team as a whole and whether they picked up a concept or shown improvement in a certain area? Well, I do think what we talked about er earlier, Ollie, is um, we have really focused defensively on keeping the ball out of the paint, and I think they have worked harder on that. Um, we've also worked harder on when we're, you know, protecting the paint to close harder. I think their focus, focus on those things has been good. And I think our offensive organization has been a lot better. So um, this is a hardworking group that focuses in uh, very, very well. So um, when you give them something to focus on, it will generally improve fairly quickly. What's up, Coach? This is uh, Will Guillory with The Athletic. Uh, <laughs> is much different than the one you the ones you dealt with in the past. Uh, but just what do you think's different about this group compared to some of the teams you've coached in the past, you know, after you've gone through that training camp process? Well, I, I think a couple of things. I, I think number one, um, you know, this is a this is a young group, uh, a, a very young group. Um, and and for a young group, a lot of these guys who who are already on their uh, you know third NBA coach, so they've had to adapt to a lot of change in a short amount of time in their career, um, which in the long run I think will help them. But in the short term, it, it it's not easy for players. You know, to uh, you play in one system, you get traded. Now you play in another system, and now a new coach comes in. And so, I think being able to adapt is a great thing. And in the long run, it'll help them. But in the short term, it's, it's tough. And so in your teaching, you know, you're sort of caught in between moving fast because the season starts tomorrow and trying to slow down and let them get a grasp of what's going on. Hi, Coach. It's Jen Hale from Fox Sports New Orleans. How difficult has this COVID situation been? And do you think that the Pelicans being one of the few teams that will have some fans at home, will that be a boost to help? Uh, the COVID stuff's been, been tough on everybody in the league, I think. You know, um, I mean, you've got to test every day. So even if you have an off day, um, you got to come in and test. So there's really no off days. The teams that don't play – Christmas day, they're all going to have to come in and test the people who work for the Pelicans, even though we're going to be out of town, they've got to come in and test. Um, so it's a huge part of your life. Um, it's always hanging over you. Um, but that's every team in the league. Um, 
as far as how much of a boost you get from the fans, I, I really don't know because it's not like the building's going to be loud or that there's going to be a lot of people there. Um, I think the players are happy that, you know, their families and people like that who, who live here in New Orleans can come to the games. Um, but as far as a home court advantage from, from having a few hundred fans, that I'm not so sure of. Hey, Stan, uh, Rod Walker with NOLA.com. And I probably should ask you this tomorrow, but I'll ask you today. But just, just how fired up are you about your first game back in a while and your first real game? And how does it, how does it compare to some of your other first games? Yeah, Rod, I mean, you always get excited um, for the first game. I don't think there's any doubt about that, you know. Um, I don't know that this is really any different from any other year, but uh, the start of the year is always exciting for players and coaches, and uh, – and you want to get it going. So I'm glad we are. I'm glad we're there. All right. Thank you very much, coach. All right, guys.